This is a demo on how you can pull together a view of all the information of a particular subject using various means of displaying that data. In this case, we are going to focus on the pharmacology search demo. First, you must log into Cortellus Labs, click on the menu icon, and then click on Cortellus APIs. Click the Drug Design API icon, and in this gray box, select the Demos shortcut, and then the Pharmacology Search Record hyperlink. On the Pharmacology Search webpage, you just need to enter a simple query. In this case, migraine. Once this loads, you can see this returned over 40 results and contains various subsets of data. This data comes from passing the Get Pharmacology Results operation of the Drug Design API. From the overview page, you can see there are nine charts displaying the results from this query. These charts are all running from the same API, but are using various graphics such as pie charts, bar graphs, and tables to display the data. Using the corresponding API call, we are currently displaying nine of the 11 available filters on this overview page. The first pie chart refers to the associated tested drug names and is directly associated with the tested drug names display filter of the API call. The next chart is a vertical bar graph that displays the top 10 molecular mechanisms on the x-axis with the number of associated pharmacology records on the y-axis. The next four ch pie charts provide information on the parameter given, the pharmacological effect, the animal model within which the drug has been tested, and the pharmacological activity system. Next is a pie chart showing the pharmacological activity type, including target, condition, and toxicity. Then you have a chart showing a horizontal bar graph displaying the top 10 pharmacological type values on the y-axis with the number of associated records on the x-axis. Finally, the last pie chart shows the types of sources used to build the data from the Get Pharmacology Results operation of the API. Each of these charts is a filter of the available drug design data and can be used to drill down further in the pharmacological results for more precise information. For instance, in the top pharmacological type values bar chart, you can hover over one of the bars associated with a particular value to see the name and the number of associated pharmacological records. This same behavior can be seen in all of the different chart examples shown on the pharmacology overview page. By clicking on a bar in the graphic, you will see a pop-up window that displays all results for the chosen condition. In these display windows, you will see 17 columns of data from the source title to the parameter group. From this window, you can also click on two of the columns that will direct you to even more information. Clicking on the tested drug name from the desired row will take you to the drug design record for the associated tested drug. This shows you associated data from the drug design API, including general data on conditions, organizations, therapeutic groups, etc. Plus, it includes a table on the development status of the tested drug, including condition, highest phase, administration routes, etc., all within one interface. From here, you can also see the various colored buttons that can take you to other data available via the Drug Design API, such as Pharmacokinetics. You can also see how you can link to other APIs, such as the Clinical or the Biomarker Uses APIs, to gather even more data using the respective API operations, which then allows one to view this data in a single interface. Back on the Pharmacology Results table, you can also click on the desired Pharmacological Activity Targets data, which will then launch the Targets infographic from the Targets API. This again shows you how to connect the various APIs through the API operations and present the outcomes within one interface. Finally, at the top of the Pharmacology Search Overview page, there are two green buttons on the right. The Pharmacology Summary Results takes you to a table showing all the same results from the charts below, just in one table. The Pharmacology Full Results takes you to a table showing some of the same associated information. However, it also includes results 
for the given parameter and the experimental values which can be used to generate the structure activity relationship table. If you prefer to narrow down the results, at the top of the pharmacology search overview, you can click on refine. As you can see, the refine option allows you to choose various filters to return a more exact result for your query. If you click on show hide next to one of the filters, you can see choices listed out with the associated number of results for that filter. Once you've adjusted your filters, click the refine button again to narrow the results for your query. The Drug Design API provides information on bioactive compounds from patents through to launch products including experimental pharmacology and PKPD results. As you can see through the pharmacology search, you can display the data in various tables, pie charts, bar graphs, etc., all within one interface. There are also various ways to narrow down the data, eventually going directly to the individual drug design record.